Alright, good morning. Um, so here's our function. P of t is equal to t squared. It's going to represent the distance in meters and object distance from the starting point in t seconds. I would like you to find the average rate of change over the interval 3 plus 4. Go for it. So from yesterday, we learned that the average rate of change in the A rock is equal to the how far a, an object is. Um, actually, it's just great. Let's say A rock from 3 to 4 is going to be B of 4 minus B of 3, so how far away the object is from the start at 4 seconds, minus how far the object was away at 3 seconds, all divided by 4 minus 3, which is the time frame that we're talking about. So D of 4, that's going to be 16. D of 3, that's going to be 9. 4 minus 3 is 1, so I get here that the average rate of change is 7 meters per second. Would you concur? Yes, sir. For this, for this particular one, no. But later on today, yes. Because there will be more work involved as we get more involved in for this one. Alright, so I want to use the same function here, d of t equals t squared, except what I want to do now is I want to find the instantaneous velocity at 3 seconds. Oh, excuse me, d of t is equal to t squared is our function. There. So, in terms of time, a lot of things can happen in one second, right? And one second really isn't an instant. Okay? So let's take that gap of one second and let's narrow it down a little bit more. What do you want to narrow it down to be? You want to get closer, closer to three. So let's go with. 3 to how much? 3 and a half. Love it. Glad you guys thought of it. Okay. So find me now the A rock from 3 to 3 and a half seconds. Three and a half squared. So point two five. And then three point two five over point five. I get an A rock there of uh, Half of the second. Still a pretty big gap, right? In terms of an instant. 
So can we come up with a smaller time frame? Okay. You got stuff. No, because it's always, if, if we're going from A on the interval A to B, it's F of B minus F of A. Yep, we did it. I promise. 6.25? Pretty big gap, though, right? Let's go to a ten. In terms of an instant, big gap yet? Still a pretty big gap in terms of an instant. Okay. So. Anybody see a pattern here? We started at seven. We gap one. Then we went to six point five and we never it. Then we went to six point two five. And we went to six point one and we went to six point zero one. Anybody see a pattern? We got two. What do you mean add the two? So what do we think the instantaneous, the IROC, instantaneous rate of change? So that would be where the gap between the two or the interval, the interval, Zero. Instantaneous. 
So we're looking from three to three seconds. What would the IROC be at B equals three? What do we think? Let's do that a couple of things. What do you think that IROC is going to be if we keep getting smaller and smaller? Six meters per second? So that would go up. Okay. And so this IROC that we're talking about here has a little bit of new notation to it. Okay. And so it is still, so our A rock from yesterday we said was the change in distance over the change in time. Okay? So that's what we said A rock was. I rock, what we're saying here now, is where our change in time is Zero. Okay. The instant change in time. So change in time, that gap is zero. Now, the problem with that is, is this creates a major mathematical faux pas. It means that we are dividing by zero. And that can't happen. That's the problem. That's where calculus comes in. We will start today to divide by zero. Okay? And we're going to do it using limits. Okay? So we're going to have, this is our function. It's the same function that we just had, t squared. Okay? Same function. But now we're going to have some certain new notation, or I should say back here, the IROC is, so the IROC, the interval would be from A to B, and we want A to approach B. We want A to be the same as B. We want them to be equal. And so we use limits here. So we're basically finding the A rock. Okay? And so if this is S of T, so T is, or S of T is T squared, okay? that's my function, my distance away, I want to find the A rock from three to t. And what I'm going to do there, so I'm going to find the a, the i rock at t. I was trying to figure out what, we're, what the time frame we were going to. We're going to mathematically prove that. So what this is saying here is that we are going to make t get closer and closer and closer to 3 from either direction, from above or below. Because when it equals 3, I can't find my a rock anymore. Because then I'm dividing by 0. Okay. So what we do here is we do something called limit. So we're going to send t all the way to 3. So we have the limit as t approaches 3, that's how we say that, of the a rock. Well, the a rock is s of t minus s of 3 all over t minus 3. This my a rock function that we learned yesterday. Right? But I can't 
extend T to 3 right now, this very second. Can't do it because then I'm dividing by 3. So, S of T would be, I would plug T back into my function right here. Well, S of T then is just if I put t into my function, I get t squared. S of 3, I'm going to put 3 into my function. 3 squared is? So we got that. Calculus. In all of my years of dealing with hidden calculus, it's not the calculus concept that trips them up. It's the algebra. Calculus is all algebra. So with that being said, looking at T squared minus 9 over T minus 3. Is there anything algebraically that I can do with that? Anything that I can algebraically do with T squared minus 9 over T minus 3. Can't square root. How? So, simplify it using the whack off method. Well, just whack off the 9 and the 3 and call it 3, and whack off the t and the t squared. Has that ever worked in math? Probably not. Yeah. It would. It would work off, work out if it was multiplication. Yes. Yep. If it was multiplication in between those two, yes, we could do that. Can we do it algebraically with side note we can What can we factor? What does the top factor do? Nope. That one I like better. Okay. So the top of this algebraically factors to be t minus 3 and t plus 3. Now what can I do algebraically? Cross out. Now the t minus 3 is crossed out because now I've got them in factor form. So that leaves me with the limit as t approaches 3 of just what do? t plus 3. So again, my next question is, can I now send t to 3? And if I do, will I be dividing by 0? If I send t to 3, do I divide by 0? Yeah. If I make, if I put 3 in for t. Will I be dividing by zero? Yay or nay? 50 50 shots. Why not? Am I dividing in this problem anymore? No. There's no fraction whatsoever in this problem anymore. So can I divide by zero? No. So let's send t to three. 
but snake three BC. And what's three plus three? Six. So the I rock at T equals three is six meters per second. And we've actually proven it using the minute as opposed to just going off of something that we observe. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No. As we move on. We're going to do something, I promise. Okay. So let me, let's do this one where in the first one, let's find the a rock, like we did yesterday. And then same function, we'll find the i rock at a different location. Okay. And then I think you'll see what, what transpires. Okay. All right. So if I find the a rock here of this function, okay. If I find the A rock, so that means I'm going to take, or the A rock of from 1 to 4 is going to be S of 4 minus S of 1 all over 4 minus 1. Everybody agree with that? Okay. S of 4. So I plug 4 in, right? 4 squared, 16 times 2, 16 times 2, shout it out, 16 times 2, 32 minus 3, 29. That's of 1, 1 squared times 2, minus 3. Ooh. Can I have, because remember, this is the position formula, right? Can I have a position of negative 1? Logically. Can I have a position of negative 1? Let's say I'm starting here at my three ring binder. Sorry, kiddos at home. Let me so I'm starting right here at my three ring binder. Where would negative 1 be? But, it, but, but S of 1, that's my position function, right? S is the distance I'm away from my start, would be negative 1. So if this is my start, and I'm going that way, where's negative 1? Here. So, can I have a position of negative 1? Yes. Okay. It just means instead of going forward, I went back. Okay. Okay. So, we're good there so far. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So, this is going to be 30 over 3. That's going to give me an A rock of 10. It didn't say meters in the problem, but we'll call it meters because that's what we've been dealing with this whole time. Okay? With me? So far. Love it. Now, same function, except now I want to find the I rock at t equals 1. Okay? So this is different now. 
because now instead of finding the A rock like we did yesterday and like we did up to about 10 minutes ago, now we're going to find the I rock. Okay? So the I rock is going to equal the limit as T approaches what? What do I want T to approach now? If I want the I rock at T equals 1. Yes? 1. Yep, I want T to get as close and close and close to 1 until it actually is 1. Okay, that's what that says. We're going to send, as I was saying before, Emmy, we're going to send T to 1. Okay? From either side, doesn't matter which side you send it from. Above, you know, like 1.5, 1.4, 1.3, 1.0, you want to get it to 1, or send it from below. Doesn't matter which side you send it from, but we're sending it there. Okay? And so then I'm going to say, this is going to be S of T minus S of 1. And then that's going to be all over T minus 1. S of T S of T is just going to be my function two T squared minus three. S of one. What is S of one? Carson, what's S of 1? Negative 1. Okay. We figured it out in the last problem, too. And all of that is going to be over T minus 1. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Until we send it to 1. Okay. Right now we can't send t to 1 because we would be dividing by 0. Okay? That rule still holds. We're just showing you a way around that rule today. Okay. Okay? Okay? So if I simplify the top, I get 2t squared minus 2 all over t minus 1. Can I simplify, factor, if you will, the top? What? Take a 2 out? Anymore. What? We got Carlos? Do I have the opportunity to divide by zero now? No. So I can send, hi April, I can send t to 1, right? If I send t to 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So my I rock at t equals 1 is 4 meters per second. 
Did that answer your question, so Flo? Yeah. We follow the same pattern. We just, you know, adjust it, no matter what our function looks like. You find me now the I rock at T equals 5. have a fraction anymore so I can send it okay. and when I send t to 5 5 plus 5 is style of a function, a different one, if you will. Okay. So now this is our function. We're going to do it exactly the same way. Okay. So we want to find the I rock at t equals 3. Well, the I rock is going to equal the limit as t approaches what? As t approaches 3. or excuse me, S of 3. So i got to put 3 into my function. 2 is 2. 3 plus 1 is 4. 2 divided by 4 is 1 half. And 1 half. Fractions within fractions. Okay, so let's look at just the top first. Let's break out the top and let's just 
see if we can get a handle on that. What do I need to do in order to combine those two fractions into one fraction? Or what do I need to have to be a better... Common denominator? Yep, okay. So my common denominator is going to be 2 times t plus 1. I'm missing from the first one 2. So I need to multiply it by 2. 2 times 2 is 4. I'm missing from the second one t plus 1. So I need to multiply 1 by t plus 1. That is then going to give me 4 minus t minus 1 all over 2 times t plus 1. Four minus t minus one is three minus t. Right? Okay. Mathematically, I can factor out a negative one on top and get that, correct? Is that mathematically legal? Nope. I can factor out the negative 1 on top. I haven't changed the fraction at all. If I distribute this, I get this back right away. I mean, I could do it to the bottom, but I don't want to. Does that work for you? Acceptable? Okay. So let's put that then as our numerator. So now we've got the limit as t approaches 3 of negative 1 times t minus 3 all over 2 times Fraction divided by something. Let's call it fraction divided by fraction. Let's put this one. Let's make that be a fraction. Fractions divided by fractions. What do we do? When we divide fractions, what do we do? Algebra. Coming back to fight you. Multiply by, somebody said it, the reciprocal, yeah, yeah, stop, okay? So this is the limit as t approaches 3 of Now what? Even before that. Cross out the C minus 3. Well then that leaves us with... If I make t be 3, am I dividing by 0? 
No. So let's make TV3 then. Three plus one times two. Eight, right? So I get my I rock here is negative one eight. Legally, is that possible? What? Yep. Why not? I thought we had just, we had said earlier that we could go a negative distance. seconds, our object is moving backwards. It's getting closer to the starting point. It's not getting farther. It went out for a while, slowed down, now it's moving backwards for a while, and then it might speed back up a bit. Go farther away. And, or it might come all the way back to the start, and then keep going back, and then stop and go back. Okay. Okay. So you can have negative I rocks. You can have negative distances. You can have negative A rocks. All good things. 